somewhere, even in the world famous Phantom. Join uh, the little ghost that walks, the boy who cannot cannot die, and, and as he grows up, uh, but and becomes a legend that he is des destined 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 to become. And collecting kid phantom is one to four plus bonus episodes six and six point five. G'day Chronicle Chamber fans and how are we going? Today we are reviewing this sucker here. Now for those who have not seen this, they're probably wondering, where's this gone? I've not seen this or anything like that. This is actually a printer's proof which was released at uh, Sydney Supernova. There was only 50, 60 of them uh, available and they all sold out by basically Saturday. So after a day, or well, even not even that after a couple of hours they were all gone but we are led to believe that there will be a a uh, an, an official release around august uh september october this year which will be slightly a little bit different oh yeah it'll be numbered won't have the printer's proof as you can see there's no barcode or anything like that as well so now what we're going to do i've got this and also this which I will discuss in a second, but let's just focus on that, so we'll push this over there. Okay, so let's go through it. Cover, cover that we haven't seen before, unless you've seen it on the Kid Phantom uh, Facebook thing. A couple of funny things. Collection with a K, Kid Phantom. Um, another thing that I noticed, I wonder how Paul's going with uh, his bird going to the dark side. Uh, with the bad guys. I wonder how he's going with that. Maybe it's a little bit of a subtle dig. Maybe he's being a bad little birdie. And so Paul got the last laugh and stuck him on the bad side. I think we can safely say that that is his favourite. Um, just as well they're not kids, mate, because uh, you're not supposed to have favourite with kids. Okay, so let's go through. Now, the thing, thing with this is uh, this is not the finished product or anything like that. So what we can do, it's a bit hard to kind of see, and I feel like I'm ripping it or wrecking it, but you can see in here we've got the different, um, uh, the first four or, yeah, the first four um, stories, and then you've got a bit of an intro. Now this really reads quite well. Some of the printing quality, you might not be able to see it on here, is a little bit off and not crystal clear. Um, to be honest, one page the, th the hardest thing that I had in looking at this was that it was not it's kind of collected for kids for someone like me who likes my tray paperbacks to have a little bit of everything it kind of missed but for a kid who can buy this one book and read the first four all at once it's perfect um, the thing that I really did like um, is this little little pro story here. The thing that I would have liked to see with this, and I know we're at spaces, it's the printer's proof, and you know, um, and stuff like that, is maybe if they followed more like this. Now, this is a, a children's book aimed similar type of age. These are actually something that I collected as a kid. So, very prose, you've got the big images, but the text is a little bit more broken down with a big image. So yeah, you've got a little bit of text, mouthful of text with big images, taking up the whole thing. If you look here, you've got mountains of text and the one or two little images. The images are stunning. I absolutely love the images, love the story. I just would have thought that something like this would read a little bit easier, it would take more time um, and it would take more pages, I understand that, but I just, when I saw that, I reckon this is probably the way to go, because like my daughter, who's three, she loves reading, well I love, she loves me reading her these, and I loved reading these myself when I was seven, eight, nine, ten, um, but prose stories didn't always kind of get me at that age and I think 
you know, my daughter, not the exact target age, but my daughter will probably get a little bit bored in reading that. Um, the other thing, the reason why I've got this one, as you can see, they're about the same thickness. But the beauty that I like about this one is all the extras that we've got at the back. So let's just flip through. You've got all the different covers, which, you know, then you've got scripts, pencils, inks. Um, so, you know, it kind of gives... Now, maybe this is not what a 8 to 10-year-old really cares about bonus materials in the sense of a script and thumbnail sketches of what it looked like and stuff like that. So maybe, you know, for an 8 or 10 year old it's not going to happen. But maybe, you know, we've got one bo we've got one bios, one fact file in here. So, you know, maybe towards the end, five pages of fact files of sketches, how to draw the Phantom, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know, things like that which are kind of like extras that a 8, 10 year old might enjoy, like whether it's a, a crossword, whether it's, um, you know, games, a, a little game where they can um, uh, photocopy or, or something and it's a little, little um, you know, things like this. They're, they're kind of hidden in the So just further to Jermaine's point there about uh, possible bonus extras for the uh, Kid Phantom trade paperback, um, I've dug out my copy of Paul Mason's uh, Kid Phantom work in progress book. Um, which uh, you can see here and there's lots of cool stuff here that uh, I think is the sort of thing that Jermaine as a collector would love to see in the back of uh, the, the bonus uh, bonus extras and that sort of thing um, lots of interesting stuff here but as he says for, for adult collectors and that sort of thing where the kids would really get a kick out of it um, they probably would not not a whole book like this but a few pages anyway again you know, keeping in mind that this is a printer's proof, it is not the finished product. Um, you know, a little bit of perspective is needed. Um, in speaking with uh, some of the people, the powers at Fru, we are led to believe that uh, the official one will not be the same price as this printer's proof. Uh, we are led to believe that it could be anywhere between the, the thirty to forty dollar mark where this was a lot higher so yeah anyway um overall it is great it is a great read i enjoy just being able to read them all at once you know um just be able to flip through and digest the whole four stories i look forward to buying it in august september october when it will come out um hopefully we might see some extra stuff as well in there besides this but even if not at 30 dollars it's not a bad book for a kid for Christmas. Thank you for your time and until next video um, review or podcast, happy Phantom. So this is the Kid Phantom Collection at number one. And it has not Kid Phantom number, number one. Two, three, and four, and there's also a lot of other ones. Like the ghost and the elephant. The ghost is the kid fandom and that's the elephant. This is a very good book. Because um, it's very interesting. Um, the kid phantoms help the elephant so he's hugging it. That's the poacher he saved it from. 
And this is the Kid Fandom and Young Mandrake, the Boy Magician. It's a very short story, but it's still very interesting. In this story, it's being this be the banks being robbed, and Kid Kid Phantom um just gets his new name. Um, Kid Phantom. So you, right here it says Kid Phantom. The the Phantom is here. And he's pretty funny. He's like, hello, bad guys, as you were. <laughs> They're all very interesting. And, and all very more, like, action. It's very um, creative. And, and very... And I like how the phantom's here. Um, and also there's the bushland there, and around there, and the, um, army there, mm -hmm. the tribe. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. And I like how there are, like, little pictures underneath here. Mm -hmm. Like, the phantom there, that kid, Kit, when he, he's going to the boat, mm -hmm. the boat. There's also some on the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the back. That's the nor the big phantom, not kid phantom, but that is kid phantom. Um, that's one of the higher. That's um Captain Cleaver. That's one of the pirates. They're the guys with crowbars, I think. And that's the ringmaster, and that's his bird. Mm -hmm. That's so the phantom's good one. Right, so, can you give it a mark out of 10? 100 out of 10. <laughs> 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 All right. Cool. Thanks, Gus. Thanks,